In this video, I'll show you how to install Windows 11 on VirtualBox. Windows 11 is Microsoft's latest operating system with a modern look, new features, and enhanced security. Instead of installing it directly on your computer, you can try it first using VirtualBox, allowing you to run Windows 11 inside your existing Windows 10 setup. I already have VirtualBox installed and ready to go. If you need to download and install VirtualBox, check my previous video. I covered the full download and setup step by step. I'll leave the link in the description. So let's begin by downloading the Windows 11 ISO image. Open your browser and search for download Windows 11 ISO evaluation. Click the first link, download the ISO Windows 11 Enterprise. You have to complete this form and then click the download button. Once you click the download button, click here, 64-bit edition. And the download starts. To save time, I already have the ISO image downloaded, so I'll cancel the do download. And now, let's create the virtual machine. Click Machine and then New. First, give your virtual machine a name. I'll call mine Win11. The virtual machine will be saved in this folder by default. Here, select the ISO image. I'm going to select the ISO image later. For the operating system, Microsoft Microsoft Windows, and for the type, Windows 11, 64 bits. Next, we need to specify the virtual hardware. For the RAM, I'm going to assign 8, gig, 8 gigabytes. It's usually better to allocate more RAM to speed up the installation process, and you can always reduce it later, and I'll show you how. For the CPU, I'll assign two processors. Keep in mind that the resources you assign to the virtual machine are taken directly from your main computer, so don't over allocate, always leave enough space for your system to run smoothly. Now let's specify the virtual hard disk. 80 gig 80GB is great, so click finish. Now we have the virtual machine ready, let's add the ISO image. Click settings. Here we have the information about our virtual machine, name, operating system, type, location. Here we can change the RAM. I assigned 8 gigabytes. Now let's move on to the storage. Here we can see the 80 gigabytes we created, but the virtual CD is empty. So let's add the ISO image. Click here, choose the disk file. Click OK. Now let's power up the virtual machine. Turn off the internet to avoid any updates. Press any key. Now I wish to install English United States. Click Next. Select Keyboard Settings, USA. Click Next. I would like to install Windows 11. I agree. Click Next. Accept. Click Next. Ready to install? Yes, click Install. And the installation of Windows 11 started. I'm going to speed up the video just so you can see the installation process.
Okay, now let's continue. Is this the right country or region? Yes. Is this the right keyboard layout? Yes, yes, that's that correct. You click yes. Skip. I'm not going to connect with the internet because it might start doing updates and it'll take more time and I don't want that so I'm gonna say I don't have internet. Enter your name, your password. Make sure to remember your password. And here, add security question. So if you forget your password, you will answer these questions. I'm just gonna write win 11 in all the, uh, in all the question. Click next. Accept. It might take some time, but keep going. The installation is done and now we have Windows 11 working perfectly. We can search, open the file explorer. What we have left is you can see that the screen is not in the full mood. To make the screen full we have to add the guest edition. Click devices and then click insert guest edition. Go to the file explorer. Double click on the CD drive. Click VirtualBox Windows Edition. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, click yes. Click next, next, click install. Reboot now. If you click reboot now and then finish, it will restart your virtual machine. Click finish. The restarting started. Now log in. To make the screen in the full mode, click view and then full screen mode switch it will take some time and that's it Windows 11 is now installed and running on our virtual machine you can explore and test everything here without affecting your main computer thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video